Hey everybody, it's Hadouken from the NCAA 06 mod. I'm going to show you how to install PCSX2 and the mod. So let's go to the release page right here and we're going to scroll on down to the PCSX2 link. You can get a newer one, for, but for our purposes I'm just going to download this. So that link takes you to this page. And based on what your system supports, you're going to want either AVX2 or SSE4. Um, your system will probably work fine with SSC4, but uh, if you can work AVX2, if your system supports that instruction set, then you might get a little performance boost. Now lucky for us, I already have this installed, so I'm just going to navigate to that folder and show you what to do next. Okay, so your folder will look a little bit less populated than this. When you first run PCSX2, you're going to need to configure it. And I'm going to go over a couple things regarding that right now. So if I were looking in general settings or if the wizard pops up for you to configure, you're going to need a BIOS. So you can see I've got this already downloaded to a folder called the BIOS. This needs to come from um, from you or from a console you own or, or what have you. So I happen to have a PS, PS2 console and so um, so I'm good there. Now, the other thing you're going to need to do is have the game ISO. So I recommend just ripping it yourself from an owned copy of the game so you can browse for that in the ISO selector. Go find the ISO. All right. Once you've got that, now we're just in configuring PCSX2. Right. So let's look at the PCSX2 settings. So first, let's take a look at general settings that I have. There's the BIOS I mentioned. Uh, you really shouldn't have to touch any of these, and I'll explain why in a moment. Um, as we get down to GS window, you know, I like to have it on widescreen because I use a special patch I'll post on our GitHub that lets the game run in widescreen. You can also do that in the game, of course, but my patch uh, prevents uh, in interlacing, so then you can also have deinterlacing turned off. And speed hacks, you know, you might want to mess with these. Um, I just have Instant VU1 on. I don't really need anything else. If I go to game fixes, you know, there's no manual game fixes enabled. Now let's go to the graphics settings. Under the graphics settings, I have DirectX 11 set as my renderer so that it plays nicely with G-Sync. I've got a G-Sync monitor which syncs the frame rate the best it can with my video card. And that works best for me on Direct3D. I have an NVIDIA 1070, I think. And so on some cards, OpenGL might work better, I believe, especially on NVIDIA, like a little bit faster. Um, on my old laptop, Vulkan works pretty well. So it doesn't really matter. Kind of pick pick what's working best on your system. There's lots of guides for that. Um, and then uh, texture filtering. Uh, set this to PS2 bilinear. Things look really good that way. If you have the patch I'm going to post in a little bit, set deinterlacing to none. And then come down here, set the resolution to what you like. I've got it at 5x because my machine can handle it. Anisotropic, if you can handle it, turn that up. Dithering scaled. MIP mapping needs to be off because if the if the emulator is generating MIP maps, well, our textures don't have MIP map versions, which are basically lower resolution versions of the same textures. And the replacement code isn't going to generate those, so you'll get a lot of texture pop in of the old textures. Just turn that off uh, for now. And then I left CRC hack level on default. Blending accuracy I've got on high just because I have a nice system. Texture preloading to full can help with performance quite a bit. Let's go over to hacks. Make sure you enable hardware hacks and turn on trilinear filtering to ultra slow as long as your machine can handle it. That combined with the anisotropic setting will keep your uh, playing field looking really nice, nice in this game. Okay, so that pretty much sets up PCSX2 except for one more thing, which is the gamepad settings. So you need to come in here and set up all of these buttons. Okay, it works just like any other emulator. I have an Xbox controller, uh, Elite controller in my case. So these things are all laid out exactly how a PS2 controller is laid out. So you can kind of figure that out. Like, oh, for cross, maybe I want uh, A. And for square, I want X and those kinds of things because of the, the coordination of this. So make sure you set all these and, and then your controls should work pretty well in the game. Now, back to the mod. We're going to want to download this folder from the assets on any given release. In this case, it's NCAA 06 Next v3.6. Extract a PCSX2 folder. Do exactly what that says. Click that. Save it. It already exists. I'm just going to overwrite it. I'm going to go to it and open it up. Open it up. And take that textures folder and pop it directly in to your PCSX2 folder, just like I have here. Once you've done that, the mod is installed. Okay? So now I'm going to launch the game. 
and you can kind of take a look at how this looks. I'm going to turn off the frame limiter so it loads a little bit faster. Let's take a look. So here's the game loading up. Yes, cool sound. Here comes the intro. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's in the game. I'm skip this. Here's the nice little splash screen we've got. And there's that awesome soundtrack for this game. And let's get into it. So you can see we've got the new graphics already. Stuff's moving fast because of the frame limiter. But if I go to play now, let me find a school we've already updated. Let's let's go to my alma mater. Let's go to Oregon. And there's Oregon. And let's take a look. And there are some different uniforms for Oregon than you would find in the game. Now what I've done here is I've manually taken uniforms from our alternate texture pack and mixed and matched them. You can do that too, and I'll show you how to do that at the uh, uh, right now, actually. But this is how you know that the texture pack is loaded, right? And you already know that, actually, when you see the different intro. Another thing is you can press F9, which will turn on software rendering, which is probably going to be pretty slow. But if you press it again, it'll enable the hardware renderer. So if you're not seeing the new stuff, try to, try to turn uh, software rendering off and on using F9. All right, so I'm going to hit escape, and we're going to go right back to, um, to how to do the custom alternates. So typically, uh, when you download this, what you're going to see, and let me reset my folder for you, because I've got all those cool alternates in there. I'm just going to revert back to my the default 2021s. Okay, so I'm going to say home green and and away white, and let's put them. You'll see here there's there's two folders inside of textures and SLUS21214, which is the game ID. So you'll see there's replacements and alternate replacements back there. So just go back into replacements, and I'm going to make Oregon's, you've got my custom folder there, so I'm going to delete that. So this is what Oregon's going to look like when you when you first get the mod, right? So it's going to have these greens, it's going to have these whites, right? It's actually not going to have the helmet for the whites in this folder because Oregon only has one helmet slot. But I've got that helmet in the alternates folder if you want to use it. So let's use some alternates, right? So let's look at our home green, and let's use a different jersey for that. Right, so I'm going to go all the way back to my PCSX2 texture folder, alternate replacements this time, NCA06 next alternates, textures, alt uniforms, Pac-12, North Oregon, and let's go to this year, and I'm going to pick, let's pick a yellow jersey from this guy. Now when I choose a jersey, I want to make sure I grab the jersey and the two primary numbers. It's going to be zero, number files, 0 through 7 and 8, 8 and 9, and uh, that way I'll have matching numbers. So let's go back now to the default replacements folder that's actually going to be used by the emulator and go inside Oregon, go inside the home, and I'm going to replace these, right? Boop, there you go. Now let's launch the game, or we resume it, and I'm going to hit F9 twice. Software mode, non-software mode, and there you go. A custom uniform combo, just like that, right? So with that, that's pretty much it. That's how you install the mod. If you want to stick around for a few more seconds, I'm going to show you an alternate presentation. If you're a Ducks fan, you might enjoy that. So for those of you who stuck around, thanks. Let's take a look at that. So go to alternate replacements, textures, alt presentations. And here you'll see Oregon in here, right? So I'm just going to copy all this. And I'm going to put it <coughs> in my mods general folder. So I'm going to go to the main replacements folder, next, textures, general. I'm just going to override these. You can always get these back from the zip file. Right, I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to turn on software, software mode off. And now I'm going to reboot the game, and you'll see something cool. Yes. So I'm going to maximize the window. Oh, it crashed because PCSX2 can be a little unstable sometimes when you restart, but don't worry. It won't happen for you that much, and it doesn't happen for me that much. So let's go ahead and start it again, and check this out once it loads up. There you go. So we've got a new splash screen with the goat, Marcus. THX. Haven't figured out how to change that yet, but I think we would leave that in, probably. EA Sports. It's in the game. It is in the game, and now there's a Marcus loading screen. Right? Everybody remembers that famous Heisman hurdle. Anybody who's a West Coast Pac-12 fan, Lisa Duck fan. All right, and then the last little bit of the presentation I'm going to show you after it loads all my stuff.
there you go. And so now we've got Oregon uh, Captain Comeback there. What else we got? There was Marcus at the beginning. I'm going to turn this on fast forward so you can see everything. There's Coda. There's Marcus against Michigan State. I was at that game. Coach Pilati underappreciated. Dan Fouts. Joe Walker from the infamous Utah goal line fumble recovery. Let's see if that's it or not. Justin. And now it's going to load into the demo game. So anyway, that's how you do this stuff. So hit me up. I haven't done a lot of this, so I guess like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Go Ducks!